We're at Plymouth College of Art today and we're going to be making inflatable spaces. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show them a bunch of work. I'm going to show them examples of inflatables both from architecture and design world, also from sort of science. And then we're going to jump straight into design. We're using polythene and sticky tape and basically it's teaching an understanding of how a three-dimensional form relates to the flat net which you can fold up to make that and how pressurising an interior then affects that and how you end up with, well everything turns towards a sphere. Reverse engineering, designing something in three dimensions and then working out what the flat shape is that you need to create. Well, we're all building different inflatable structures that are going to be attached to poles along there that are going to inflate them so we each have an inflatable live-in structure. Well, it's learning to work as a team, learning to incorporate other people's ideas and learning sort of how to build something that really works that you could live in as a structure. I hope that they get a kind of excitement for what space making can be. Normally it's something that's kind of out of reach of people because of the scale, because of the slowness and the expense of making architectural space. And I hope that it inspires them, you know, with the potential of that as a sort of artistic form and maybe some of them are interested in getting into that world. I think one of the things about this masterclass but also a lot of the other sessions that we do is the students are quite surprised by the diversity of skills that you'll need or can use as an artist. It's interesting because it's more architectural art now because there's a lot of maths going on and a lot of shapes. It's not just being able to do a drawing or do a painting, although those things um, we also cover a lot as well, but also that sort of idea of planning a project and researching, um, developing ideas, they really have had their, kind of, their horizons expanded massively by all of these workshops. After four hours of productive chaos, we now have some kind of weird assemblage of inflatables happening now, all fed off this one big kind of feeder tube. It's been hectic, but uh, a lot of fun, and I and I hope that I hope that people have uh, learned a bit and uh, had a bit of fun. It was amazing. It was fun. It allowed me to interact with the other colleges, and it just amazing.